what we want to do now is bring in some footage, right? Are you guys ready to bring in some footage? Yeah. I can't hear you. <laughs> Woo! All right, so it's New Year's Eve, 1999. I'm going to go to file. And I'm going to go down to login capture. Everybody remember login capture? It's initializing the deck. It's opening up. It always says this. It always says preview disabled. But don't freak out. This is the default setting for that window up there. OK? It always says preview disabled. There's nothing wrong. It's just what comes up first. Now. If we're looking at the login capture window, you can see that it's got the play button. And notice when I leave the marker on the button, it tells us what the button does. That means that you at home can drink alcohol and edit at the same time. <laughs> That's right. You don't have to worry. What does this button do? You know, you put down your beer, wine, whatever it may be, Southern Comfort, and you put the little marker right on the play button, and it tells you what it does. It disappears after a while. So for those of you at home getting ready with all the Post-its to put on the screen, no need to do that. It tells you what it does. And these are very simple. There's rewind, there's stop, play, fast forward, and then these other have to do with more when you start putting in and out points. But the basic thing I want you to know is this is what moves the tape around. There are a couple of new things I want to just add in here that are with Final Cut Pro 6, and you can continue watching the DVD. It's all the same, but there are a couple of things I want to talk about. First, it, they've added login transfer. Now, you'll select this if you're bringing in media from, let's say, a P2 card, a flash card, uh, any kind of, um, kind of digital storage. Um, memory device on your camera. You're not using tape. So if you're not using tape, simply click the login transfer button and it'll you'll automatically it will uh, imp start importing your folders. You'll see you'll be able to click on the hard drive and choose your folders. But for login capture, there is something different with uh, high def that if you don't know about, it might make your footage come in weird. And I want to talk about that right now. Login capturing using tape like HDV. Well, first off, you can see that this looks different than the uh, standard digital login capture window. This is the high definition uh, capture window. And um, I don't have it connected to a deck. If I did, it would have all the uh, play and rewind buttons right here. But uh, no color bars like the other one. But what I want you to know about is something very important. And it's here at Clip Settings. And it's a box that comes checked. So I want you to remember to Go to Clip Settings and uncheck this box right here. Unchecking that box. Because what happens if you don't uncheck that? Most of us, we create, uh, as I talk about logging, you're going to create an in and an out. You're going to label it. And to your surprise, your one clip comes in as 10 different clips or five clips. That's because you can set Final Cut Pro and HD to create a separate clip on Start and Stop. I don't recommend doing that. So if you're seeing multiple clips coming in at the same time, be sure you unselect this, OK? Unselect it. And then your clips will come in exactly like you want them to. So now it's time to bring the clips in. Now, there are a couple of ways to bring clips in. And I want to talk about those now. The first thing is you really got to make sure you have the correct real number assigned and written down on the log and capture. So every tape you have, immediately give it a real number. And don't let any two tapes have the same real number. So you noticed here, tape one that I'm inserting to the machine says tape one on the tape. And if you look here where it says real, it says real number one. When I put in another tape into the machine and begin to work on login capturing that, I'll change the real number in the login capture window to reflect the number of the tape in the machine. Now, Let's talk about how you get material into the computer. Now we're in the log and capture window. We're going to talk about how do you get footage in. And there are three ways to basically get footage in. One is using the clip button. One is using capture now. And the other is batching clips in. Now, first you have to decide what you want to bring in. And there are a bunch of different ways to do that. Now, 
one way to bring a clip in is you put the tape into the machine, and I've put this New Year's Eve tape, and it's reel number one, into my deck or camera, and it's connected via Firewire. Make sure it says the name of my project, which is this DVD pickups. And notice I've said reel number one. Make sure you always type in the reel number for whatever tape you have in the machine. Very critical, reel numbers. Keep your reel numbers together like I just talked about. Now, what I'm gonna do here is, this is the log and capture window, and this tells me how much free, spaces, free space I have on my drive. I have about 50 gigs, so I have over 200 minutes. And I'm gonna hit play, and let's say I wanna start bringing this footage in right before these fireworks. So I'm going to use this search tool right here and go backwards. So I use that search tool. And let's say I wanted to start a little before this. So I'm going to go back. And let's say I wanted to start it right around here. I'm going to bring in my clip. So that's where I want to start my clip. Bring in the big chunk. So I'm going to hit mark in. Right over here and where it says mark in. I could have hit I also, and it records this is the in point here. And then I'm going to press play. And this is the time code numbers running. So I want to bring all this in. This is exciting, I know. Fireworks footage. And let's say that's enough. I just want to bring that amount in. So I've set the in at the beginning, and now I'm going to set my out. says mark out, I hit out. And now it tells me up here that I have a, it's, this is a shaded from in to out, that the duration of this clip is 11 seconds, 25 frames. Okay, so I've given it an in and I've given it an out. And now I must log the clip. So I'll hit log and it's gonna ask me to name this clip. And according to the five elements of documentary, this is a cutaway. So I'm going to write cutaway because I want all my cutaways to be organized together in the bin. And I'll write fireworks. And um, I will hit OK. And then what happens is the clip appears in the window into my browser. And it has a red line in it, which is the sign of the devil, which tells me that it's offline. And we're going to talk about how to bring on clips online in just a second. But one way of just telling the computer what clips you want is simply to press play, hit the mark in button where you want it to start bringing the footage in, hit the space bar, hit mark out where you want it to stop bringing the footage in, then log the clip, name it, I'll call this fireworks 2, hit OK. And now the clips are in my browser, and they both have a red sign of the devil, which means they're offline clips, and we're going to talk about how to bring them in in a second. But the step one to log stuff to bring it in is you just simply go through your tape, and you hit I for in, or mark in, and O for out. And now I must log the clip. And you've told the computer, I want to bring that footage into my computer. Don't be exact here. You'll be exact when you start editing. Bring the clips in wide. It's almost like you're a sculpture and you just want to bring in the piece of stone. And the way we bring these clips in is using the batch button. You see right here the three ways to bring a clip in. Clip, now, and batch. Batch is what we're going to press to bring in these offline clips to bring this video into the computer. But before I talk about batch, I want to talk about these other two buttons. The second way to bring clips in is you can do Capture Now. Now, what is Capture Now? If I hit play, then Capture Now, it automatically starts bringing the footage in. It's allocating the disk space, and now it's bringing the footage in. In real time, no ins, no outs, just hit capture now and then I hit escape and it stops the capture and it saves it in my browser